So we can all probably agree, backend work can get pretty chaotic, right? You often end up juggling one tool for APIs, another for background tasks, something else entirely for scheduled jobs, and then maybe you'll get yet another tool for AI workflows. Each piece has its own deployment quirks and overhead, and before you know it, your backend pipeline is just a big complex mess. Well, there is this framework out there called Modia, which aims to simplify all that chaos by giving you one unified runtime. You can write your APIs, cron jobs, background tasks, and AI agents all in one place in a language that you prefer. And in today's video, we're going to dive into how it actually works and we'll build a little unified runtime project together to see it in action. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so let's dive into it. So what's the magic behind Modia? Well, at its core, there is a component called a step. A step is a reusable unit that can be triggered by an HTTP request, a schedule, or any other event. You can write steps in TypeScript, Python, and support for more languages are coming soon. Each step has four parts. First, the trigger. This is what starts the step, like a web request, or a cron job, or an incoming event. Then there's subscribe. That's how the step takes in data from upstream or from other steps. Next is the handler. This is the logic you write and the code that will actually do the work. And finally, there's emit. This is what the step produces at the end, whether that's a response back to the client, a new event for other steps, or even data pushed to the stream. With just those four pieces, you can build almost anything. APIs, background tasks, scheduled workflows, even real-time systems and AI-driven pipelines. One of the best parts about Modia is that it has observability built into it. You don't have to wire up a bunch of third-party tools just to figure out what's happening inside your system. Every step automatically produces logs so you can see what exactly ran and when. You also get traces that show how data flows across multiple steps, making it easy to debug complex workflows. And Modia even has a state that you can keep track of, so you can monitor the current status of a job, replay failed events, or inspect historical runs, all without extra setup. Now let's see it in action. For this demo, I've set up a simple workflow. It starts by retrieving a transcript of one of my YouTube videos, and then the transcript is passed to an AI agent, which generates simple tweets based on the context. Then there's a cron job that runs every minute to check for any pending tweets. If there are any, it runs a script to publish them to my Blue Sky account. If you want to check this project out and try it on your own, I've also included a link to it down in the description below. Now here's something that is super cool about this project. The whole runtime pipeline consists of only four files. Each step has its own separate file and that's it that's your whole project now let's inspect what each file contains basically every step will have two main parts a config object and a handler function in the config we first define how a step is triggered whether that's via api an event or a scheduled cron job. Then you can also specify additional parameters like what will the step emit when successfully executed or what the response schema should look like. And then there's the handler. This is where the main action of the step is executed. And we can do almost anything in the handler. We can perform service tasks, call AI agents, log performance, whatever you want. The handler is basically the brain of the step. It's where you put all the logic that drives your workflow forward. And with these two simple pieces, we can build out pretty complex workflows. In this particular example, I have this API step that just retrieves the YouTube transcript from a given video. And as you can see, it also emits a transcript.fetched event once it's done, which in turn calls the event step, which takes in the transcript and then prompts GPT-4 to construct two tweets about the contents of this video, and then save them in a global state, which is managed by Modia. And we can trigger the step directly from the Modia dashboard by just specifying a video ID, or we can run a curl command directly. In this case, I will just give it an ID of one of my previous videos, and let's launch the runtime. And in the tracing section, you can see our runtime being executed in real time. Now, these are two steps that run sequentially, but there's also a third step, which is asynchronous, and this one runs a cron job every minute to check if there are any outstanding tweets that have been generated 
from our transcripts but haven't been posted to Blue Sky yet. If so, then the cron job will take those tweets and post them to Blue Sky. If no outstanding tweets are found, it just skips the execution. And then there's the fourth step, which is just an API endpoint. It's just meant to query the tweets by a given trace ID in the state, so you can check out which tweets have been generated so far. So what you end up with here is a clean, self-contained system where different background tasks run and coordinate seamlessly through Modia. You also get full observability built in with logs and traces that let you see exactly what your runtime is doing at any point. And the best thing is that the whole workflow comes together with just four step files. If you wanted to make the system more resilient, you could hook it up to better stack and send all your logs and traces there. That way you'll get a much stronger production grade observability layer on top of what Modia already provides. So there you have it, that is Modia in a nutshell. I honestly think this runtime framework is super cool. I am particularly amazed by how simple it is and how little boilerplate it actually requires to get my runtime up and running. But folks, what do you think about Modia? Have you used it? Will you try it? Can you think of any cool use cases where it can be used for? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you found this video useful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more dev content like this one. This has been Andres from Better Stack, and I will see you in the next videos. Thank you.